Hi everyone, it's Sandy and welcome back to my channel. This week I've decided to honor our veterans with a special Remembrance Day Manny. So if you'd like to learn how I did this look, just stay tuned. So to create this look, I knew I would need some poppy decals and since I couldn't buy any, I knew I had to make them. I started off by printing off some poppy coloring clip art that I found on the internet. I made sure to shrink it down before I printed it on a page with two different designs. I only need two decals, but I made way more. At least, I tried to. For my first attempt, I taped down some pieces of a plastic page protector onto my template that I had printed out previously. Then I put down some top coat, allowed that to dry, and tried filling in the poppies with some regular polish. That did not work out so well. Then I tried outlining my stencil with some stamping polish, but my nail art brushes were so bad that didn't work out so well either. Still, I decided to carry on and fill them in with some red stamping polish. Then I kind of figured that on my gray gradient, the red poppies weren't going to show up that well, so I decided to backfill them with some white polish to make them pop. What a mess. For my third attempt, I tried just holding the plastic sheeting down over my stencil and filling it in with some red stamping polish. That wasn't the look I was going for either. Then finally, an idea hit me. So I taped down some more plastic sheeting over my decal templates, put down some more top coat, let that dry. Once that top coat was completely dry, I took out one of my favorite tools, my extra fine black sharpie. With my sharpie, I outlined all of my poppy decals, and that worked great. Then I took some of my gold stamping polish and put a little bit in the center of my poppies. I used red stamping polish to fill in the rest of the poppy, and I set it aside to dry. While that was drying, I finally got started on the rest of my nails. As usual, I started off with clean dry nails and applied a coat of Anchor by Zoya as my base coat. Once my base coat was completely dry, I then put on one coat of Street Style Princess by China Glaze. It's the lightest of the three colors that I will be using for my gradient. Because I am sponging a gradient on, my base coat does not have to be perfect. Because I'm allergic to latex, I have to stick with latex-free products, and I was able to order my cuticle wraps from Twinkle Tea. The link will be down below in the description box. Then it was finally time to get sponging on the gray gradient. The three colors I'm using today are Street Style Princess, Recycle, and Out Like a Light from China Glaze. Taking a non-latex makeup sponge that I got from the dollar store, I laid down a little bit of each of the three colors before placing the sponge on my nail and starting to dab. I've already done my right hand off camera. To get the opacity of the gradient that I wanted, I had to do a couple coats. Before the polish was fully dry, I made sure to remove the cuticle barriers. If you don't do this while your polish is still wet, it can pull the polish up from your nail bed. After cleaning up any remaining residue on my fingers, I then waited for my nails to completely dry and then I added a coat, a quick dry top coat. Now it was time to add my first decal. I tried to carefully pull the decal off the plastic with my tweezers. However, I kind of gotten my top and bottom mixed up when I was looking at them. Once I had that, though, they pulled off pretty easily, and I placed it on my nail. This was my first time using a homemade decal, and I really should have trimmed this decal down a bit more before placing it on my nail, so it did require a little bit more cleanup than it should have. By not trimming off the excess decal, I made this much harder than it should have been. Once I'd removed all the excess decal, I then put on a coat of armor top coat to seal in my design. Now it's time to stamp. Once again, I'm using a clear stamper and stamping polish from Clear Jelly Stamper, as well as their stamping plate, Floral Swirl Number no. 2. Yes, I've used this one many times before, but I really love this pattern. As you can see, because this stamp is clear, you can take a look down the barrel of the stamper and place it right on your nail where you want it. After cleaning off the stamping plate and the stamper, I then proceeded to do the other three nails on my left hand. 
Once that had a chance to dry, I followed up with a final coat of armor top coat to seal in all my designs. I think they turned out pretty good. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked that video, please don't forget to hit the like button, and also please, if you could do me a favor and subscribe, as well as hit post notifications so you can find out when I post a new video. Have a great day!